Hey everybody, what's up? It's Steven here and welcome to Geek Out Cinema. So today in this video, I have a haul video for you guys. Um, this haul is from when I went to Hollywood, California. Um, as you guys may have seen, um, I just posted um, a video with a bunch of photos and some video clips from the trip. Um, if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave the link below to it. And, um, and I picked up a bunch of cool stuff all over the place in Hollywood, so I figured I'd show you guys what I got. Um, first thing we can st we'll start off with is these really cool um, 8x10 prints. Um, I got some really cool ones. Right here, I have the Phantom of the Opera. Focus that for you guys. And I got the Bride of Frankenstein. Offers Hitchcock with the birds from the movie The Birds. And we got The Wolfman, Lon Chaney Jr. And we got some Vincent Price. Just like my shirt. And then we have one more. Um, this is from Frankenstein, which is really cool. That's awesome. And I believe that was it. Yep. And those are really cool. Um, I actually found these. Um, there's like a bunch of shops on Hollywood Boulevard. And some of them are like souvenir shops. And they kind of had the same thing. But I noticed that a lot of shops had these, and like each shop had some prints that were different. So I found these at like a few different shops, each one of these. Um, but they were these are really cool prints. I'm definitely gonna might frame them. I'm not sure, but these are really cool to have. And then also at one of those shops, I found this cool Exorcist magnet, which I thought was pretty cool. That focus. Thought that was really cool. And then when I was down at Universal Studios um, Hollywood, I've got this keychain, and it is a Psycho keychain, and it's room number one, um, Bates Motel, and then at the back it's officially licensed. So that's really cool. Um, they had a lot of Psycho stuff to choose from, like they had like shirts and like blankets and mugs and all that it was kind of expensive but it's like I'm like I have to get something here at Universal Studios and I want to get something with Psycho because I've been wanting to see um, the Psycho house on the back lot um, at Universal Studios for quite some time so I'm like I have to get something so I got this cool keychain figure why not I'll put it somewhere and it's, it's pretty cool because like the room number from the movie and the next item's kind of funny. Um, if you guys watch the show The Goldbergs, it's a TV show and it's based in the 80s. I love the show. It's so funny. Um, but I was at Sony Studios and that that's where they filmed the show. And I actually got a chance to actually go on the set from the show, like the, where the kitchen is and the dining room and the family room and all that. Like the main floor of the whole TV show that they're always filming at. And that was really cool. Unfortunately, I couldn't take any photos. But um, I went to the gift shop and they had some cool Goldberg stuff. And I saw these. I'm like, ah, these are so funny. I'm like, um, as you guys may know, the socks in the 80s were like very like, they're like you know, like the gym socks, very high socks. So I got these socks and I'm actually just opening them right now for the first time. And let's see. So it's like, so that's the Goldbergs right there. And then they're like 80 socks pretty much. Like they're like long socks. Like long gym socks. I just thought that was funny. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to wear them. I might. But I just thought that was so funny and I should get them. So it's kind of like a joke kind of uh, souvenir. But I thought that was so funny. It's just like from the show. And then um, I picked up some cool stuff um, from this store called um, Amoeba Music. Highly recommend that store to anyone, okay? They have everything. Like, it was, as I said in my last video, it's the biggest store that carries vinyl, CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, um, posters, collectibles. You guys have to check it out if you're ever down there. Um, I would say, I was probably spent like an hour and a half in the store. I could have spent, like, probably another two hours. The store was a massive. It was so big. And it was kind of like... 
there's so much stuff to choose from, you kind of get like lost and don't know what to pick. So it's like so much stuff. But um, anyways, I'll leave the link below to the website, and I'll also leave the link below to the video on YouTube that's like the tour of the store. And I picked up a few cool things, uh, uh, some movies I've been wanting to see for a while. So I got the movie The Stuff. And I got the movie Chopping Mall. And I got Taurus Trap. I haven't seen any of these yet. I, um, people have been recommending me to watch them, so I'm like, kind of going to pick them up. And they weren't that badly priced. All these movies are under 15 bucks, so why not? And this one, um, I actually have a question. So I got this vinyl from Amoeba Music. It's a vinyl. It's a picture disc vinyl. Um, this vinyl is the soundtrack for The Conjuring 1 and 2. Now, I've been online doing some research on this vinyl. I can't really find a whole lot. I found like a, I found like one listing on eBay that doesn't ship to Canada, so I'm like, okay, forget that. Then I went on another site that said some more information about it. I think it said it was like limited edition, um, and it had like some other information. But I can't really find a whole lot of listings. Look on Amazon; they only have the audio on C uh, They only have the soundtrack on CD. And I just don't know much about it. So this is the vinyl right here. Um, I'll take it out for you guys so you can look at it. And this is the back. But I don't really know a whole lot about this vinyl, guys. I'm going to take it out for you because it's actually really nice. and It's my first picture disc I own. And I've been wanting the Conjuring soundtrack for quite some time. Because the soundtrack on the movie is really good. Um, so yeah, this is the first side for the first film. And this is the second side for the second film. So if you guys do know, if you guys know anything about this soundtrack, please let me know in the comment section below. As I said, I just, I can't find a lot of information about this. I think it might have been limited edition, and maybe like a small run, and maybe there's not a lot of whole listings because people are holding on to these. I have no idea. Just let me know below if you know any information about it because I'd really appreciate it. Uh, next thing I picked up is a Halloween reprint of the script the script from Halloween which I thought was really cool um let that focus up there we go um yeah I thought this was really cool it has the whole script and uh, I got this from actually this was another really cool store um I have the business card right here um it is called uh, Larry Edmonds bookshop and it's, it's been open since 1938 so that's quite some time Um, yeah, and this was a really cool store. They had a lot of cool, um, they had reprints and originals. They had lobby cards, stills, posters, books, um, scripts, um, just a bunch of stuff. And, um, it was really cool. This is on Hollywood Boulevard. Um, definitely highly recommend check this place out. I might order more from them because I like to collect, uh, stills and lobby cards. And, uh, I saw that reprint script. This, uh, yeah, this reprint script, I'm like, I'm going to grab that because I never, I don't own any scripts and Halloween's my favorite movie. I think it was only like $15, which wasn't bad at all. So, that's really cool. Highly recommend to check this guy out if you're ever down on Hollywood Boulevard. Um, and I got a few more things. Um, I got this really cool um, Elvira shirt while I was down there. And this is really cool. It has like all of her expressions on it. Very cool shirt. And it's like, it's the first Elvira shirt that I actually own. So that's really cool. And I also got, next thing I have here is actually really cool. Um, I got this at the same place I got the shirt. And um, the shirt and this were actually sold at an Elvira shop. Um, guys, if you're ever um, down in Hollywood, um, I got this and the shirt at the Dolby Theater um, down on, at Hollywood Boulevard. If you guys are ever there, Dolby Theater, go up the stairs, the long stairway staircase up the stairs, and on the left there's a candy shop, and in that candy shop there's an Elvira shop in there. And also, I was talking to one of the people that are working there, and they're actually saying that they're going to expand the shop and make it bigger, and also bring one of her car like screen-used cars, um, like from Mistress of the Dark that virus car they're gonna have it on display so that's really really cool I highly recommend you guys check that out if you are an Elvira fan and um, I got this book I actually got this 10% off because this was the display copy so it was used for like people to look at so 
I got 10% off of this, which I was really happy about. And it has a lot, like this is a picture book. It has all pictures um, from like the start to the present of her career, which is really cool. And some of the photos inside the book have like little descriptions about when the photo was taken and all that stuff. It's really interesting. Um, I'll show you some of them if I can. So that's like the front, that's the back, which is really cool. And when I open it up, I'll try to show you guys as best as I can. So it's kind of awkward. Uh, yeah, there we go. We got this one. This one was from Mistress of the Dark, the movie. And we got these, which are really cool. There's, a, there's like this book is like I forgot. I think over I forgot how many pages worth of pictures there is in here. I think it's over 200. I think. Actually, let me look that up right now. This book has um, 240 pages in it, so that's a lot. Like this is a photo book. Highly recommend this book if you're an Elvira fan because it has a lot of cool photos in it that weren't published to the public yet, and were just like they're just published in this book. Like no one has seen the photos until they got this book type thing. It's really really cool. I highly recommend it. Um, there's just a bunch of photos in here, a lot of photos in here. Um, Next ones that we got, so as some of you may know, um, I'm a big fan of Kat Von D. Uh, she's been kind of like a role model to me since I was a little kid. I used to watch her show LA Inc. all the time when it used to be on, and I still follow her um, now on like on Instagram, and I always see her posts and all that, and she's just, she's just such an inspiration, such a good person. I actually met her, um, I don't even know how long ago. Um, I met her downtown Toronto, and she was doing a book signing, I don't remember how long ago, and she was really, really nice. Um, I can insert the photo right here if you guys would like. And yeah, I, I look like a little kid in that photo. That one was like taking a long time, but yeah, she, she was really nice, and yeah, she's an awesome person. But I got some cool stuff from her. I went to go see her tattoo shop. I got myself... Kat Von D's high voltage shirt, which is really cool. And I also got a picture um, of me in front of the shop as well, which is awesome. And that photo, I uh, you guys can see right here. Yeah, it was really cool. And there's a just a it, it, the guy at the front that I was talking to. He was really nice. His name was Ryan, I believe, and he helped us out. He was really nice and. Uh, but next time, if I ever get a chance to go back to California, I for sure, I will have to get make sure to get a tattoo at High Voltage Tattoo Shop. Um, and then the next, I got another shirt here, and this was with Kat Von D herself. Really awesome, great shirt, man. I'm I'm so happy. Like, I wanted to go to that tattoo shop for so long, and I can't believe I went there. Like. It was kind of like, wasn't when I was on the trip and I was doing all this stuff I really wanted to do for a long time, it kind of didn't feel real because it just felt like a dream because it, it, it was really a dream come true when I did all this stuff like went to see the high voltage tattoo shop, um, went to go see filming locations, and um, I even got to meet someone from my one of my favorite bands, Kiss. Um, I met Bruce Culloch and he was the guitarist in the band um, for 12 years. Um, and he was, he toured with them when they were unmasked, when they didn't have any makeup on. I can uh, show you the guys the photo right here. Yeah, so that was me and him, he was a really cool guy, and, I, and I'm so happy to have met him. And, um, actually, I might as well say this now too, uh, I don't know if I said it in my last video, but when I was there, I actually saw Owen Wilson riding his bike um, while I was at a red light in Santa Monica. And that was really, really cool. And I also saw Will Ferrell. Um, I was at a hockey game, and I saw Will Ferrell in the crowd, which was really cool as well. But yeah, um, as I said, highly recommend you guys check out Hollywood. It's really fun. A lot of fun things to do. You might bump into a celebrity just like me. Like, It's really fun. Just uh, There's a lot of cool attractions to do down there, and um, definitely worth the check out. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this haul. I um, don't want to keep rambling on, um, but I hope you all have an awesome day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Alright guys, see you later. Bye now.